night about 10.30. We, uh, he was uh, awakened kind of by lights, many very bright lights. And we've lived here since 1973. And um, we just uh, are aware of our park and things that go on. And so we did that. But uh, yes, the police talked to many areas around here to all the homes and, and got people up to see if they had an opinion and knew. We heard nothing. Uh, we, we, when he went outside, the young man was put on a stretcher and was given CPR. And uh, they had found him over on the steps across the street. And the young lady called and took care of the situation with the police then called. But we, we actually heard nothing. It was very quiet. And at that point, there was a lot of uh, police cars. There was a lot of fire engines. Uh, they uh, put up the lights and took uh, pictures of all of our backyards to see if anybody was around and they could talk to and that was what we kind of had for the rest of the night. Tell me a little bit about the park, and mm -hmm. I know you've had a, a previous murder a few years ago. Mm -hmm. Is this a safe neighborhood, do you think? Y yes, it is. We, we, uh, we do call if there's a problem, and we try to stay on top of that, and the police are very good to respond, and they do tour our area quite often through the evenings, and uh, uh, make sure the park is a safe place for people, yes.